first alert weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. A very chilly end to the week out there for us after seeing 60s and 70s all week long with a lot of sunshine. The cold front that came through yesterday certainly is hitting us with a chill out there for your Friday. There will be plenty of sunshine, but it will be breezy and it will be noticeably cooler with highs only getting up to around 55, 56, 57 degrees across the area. Georgetown topping out at 58. Then with clear skies tonight, those winds will diminish and temps are going to plummet down to the middle and lower 30s with some locations along the border belt even dropping down to the freezing mark or below freezing. 31 the forecast low tonight for Darlington, Bennettsville, Lumberton. Freezing forecast in Florence, Marion and Conway and down by the beaches getting down to the mid 30s right around 34 degrees. A freeze warning has been issued, so be prepared to take those necessary precautions of covering those tender vegetations, uh, bringing in those plants, and uh, don't forget, make sure your pets are coming inside or at least have a warm place to stay tonight because it is going to be downright cold. High pressure will be building in from our west, taking some of that colder air and replacing it as we go through the weekend with a nice little warming trend, especially on Sunday afternoon. That's when the warmest of air for the weekend will be moving in. We'll continue that warming trend as we go through next week. That high still staying off the east coast. We'll actually see our temperatures rise into the middle and upper 70s by midweek. But if you're heading out to a high school football game tonight, be prepared. It is going to get cold, especially by the end of those games where the temps are already going to be into the low 40s. Make sure it's a multiple layer kind of night for you and you have the blanket with you as well. Heading out to maybe dinner or catch a movie. Be prepared for when you're done eating or heading out and getting out of that movie. Uh, to be prepared for the cold that awaits you out the door. Now, if you're heading out to a college football game this weekend, maybe you're traveling down to Charleston to see uh, Coastal Carolina play Charleston Southern. USC is playing Florida at Columbia. And then we have Clemson versus Wake Forest in Clemson. We do have plenty of sunshine, but if you're going out early to catch uh, some early morning tailgating, be prepared. It's going to be a cold start out there. And then the afternoon and the evening when that sun sets, certainly temps are going to be falling off very rapidly as well. But at least there will not be as much wind for your Saturday as there is out there for today. We will see temps making their way to the middle and upper 70s for Monday, Tuesday, and even into Wednesday. Another front comes through the area with a 30% chance of a shower or two on Wednesday. A little cool down coming in behind it, but nothing in comparison to what we're seeing out there for today. And that cold air that will be on tap for tonight. Mid to low 30s again for your wake up on Saturday, mid 60s on Saturday afternoon, upper 30s and low 40s on Sunday morning, but Sunday back into the 70s. So at least we get a nice little warming trend and great weather for the weekend. You got to love when it plans out for that, but you do have to be prepared for the cold that awaits you on your Friday, Friday night, and it's early Saturday morning. And a quick thank you to all of the vets out there. Thank you so much for all you have done for giving us the freedom and the ability to live the lives as we get to live them today. And for those who have lost their lives, you will be remembered today as well. Thank you very much. Have yourself a wonderful Friday and a great weekend. Your latest news and weather updates are on your website, carolinalive.com.